the result of some sort of uh, email with an attachment or a link to somewhere which downloads malware to a computer it could affect the whole network and subject to a subject subject it to a ransomware attack so some of those emails may look something like this right you have uh, you have a uh, a document that's sent through sent through office and someone would just click on enable content to see what's going on there right and it contains the uh, the, the malware that downloads from remote host if you click on that so that's one way the attack can occur well, here's another one that doesn't make sense either a true story so here we have an email that's sent and it contains an attachment and you can't open the attachment without the password but you would send the password in a different way if you wanted to try to secure this document not in the email uh, that's that contains the attachment so that doesn't make sense already but this is designed to elude uh, you know malware protection systems because you know some email providers will actually scan attachments for malware to make sure they're safe but you can't do that that system would not be able to do that when you have a password for this. So that would circumvent that control. Someone may open this so-called payment document and the malware would be in, uh, loaded on a computer system. It's another thing that doesn't make sense. Also, downloading things from Dropbox, uh, PDF files sent to HR with the term resume on them. Uh, another example how this could happen. This is uh, There's been some, some pro high-profile examples of this. Um, happening in businesses, this exact thing happening to businesses. And then the encryption incurs, you immediately realize how quickly this can affect you. And all of a sudden your files are encrypted. You can't get access to those on your computer system. And then it could have a domino effect in your own business as being a, a, not being able to actually do your business transactions at all. We've seen that with JBS. We've seen it with the Colonial Pipeline system as well. And of course, the notification comes from the criminals. Uh, they'll tell you about encryption and and uh, you know crypto asymmetric and uh, cryptographic algorithms. You don't have time for any of that. You're just trying to get up and running again, right? And of course, demand is for the payment, and generally they want uh, a very large payment. But sometimes they'll give you a discount. Isn't that nice of them? Uh, they're not going to charge you per system that's been encrypted, only for um, maybe a, a you know a volume discount. You know, one payment of. 50,000 for all the computers um, to, to be to be unencrypted uh, as well. And generally the payments have grown to be a lot more than that. And they basically tell you like the criminals did back in the 1930s, don't try to follow us, you're never gonna find us anyway. Even though that's not necessarily true as we've seen the FBI uh, find a Bitcoin wallet that contains some of the money from the colonial pipeline attack. And uh, isn't that nice to them? They actually uh, protect your privacy as well. And then when all is said and done, you know, they're polite. They say please and they say thank you and they just want your money. And if you pay the money, maybe you'll get your encryption key. But that's not the answer. And you'll see why in just a second. You may even get a message like this. You know, customer satisfaction is so important these days. They like the ratings as well. Uh, you know, it's almost gotten to this point with ransomware attacks. There are businesses and they have scouts and they have people who develop the malware. They have public relations departments that talk to the media about this as well. And it is a business and uh, and this is what we're facing in terms of a criminal element. 